Okay, so we kind of went over the parts of the of the reel and the pole. So now we're gonna. I just want to show just a couple things here, Rob the Pond. I just want to show you a couple things that you should also have uh, to consider when you go fishing. So I have just a couple basic lures here. Uh, you know, this is basically what would simulate like, kind of like a crawfish that you could use. And then you have another lure that kind of goes deeper into the water, makes a little bit of a rattling noise, which can attract some fish. And then I put the hook, and um, a lot of people use just worms uh, that you could use with a, uh, a bobber. And you set the bobber up a little higher than the hook, and you can throw it out and let it sit in the water with a worm on and sit there and enjoy yourself. And then when you see that bobber start getting uh, some motion out there, you can set the hook and try to get a fish. Right now what I have on here is just a lure. So I just have a basic spinner reel uh, lure and uh, it'll this will rattle as it goes. And this is pretty good for catching bass. So right now I have it unhooked and I have about, I don't know, two or three feet off and that's just about perfect. Now you want to make sure that safety wise there's nobody behind you when you're casting. You, you, you don't want to get this um, people around you so make sure you have a nice open air especially if you're beginning fishing you don't want to be in the woods with trees and stuff right near because you're just going to get it snagged and you don't want that so just this is really important now this is what i talk about in the gym is you want to adjust this so that the line is near the pole okay so with my right hand i'm just going to pinch okay so the line is there and then i'm going to take and click the bar over Okay, so right now, if I was to just drop this or let it go, the, the lure is going down. And when I click it over, start reeling, it'll click in, and now the spool is going, and now I'm reeling up my lure. So I'm going to get this set again, okay, and I'm going to, again, a couple feet off from the end. I'm going to pinch. I'm going to click over. And now the key to casting is making sure that you're basically starting back at a certain distance away and as you come through you're going to release when the pole reaches sort of the, the pond area direction wise so i'm just going to walk out here and hopefully i don't fall <laughs> okay. make for a good video so again i'm right here i got it pinched all right it's ready to cast all right so as i again as i get ready to do this i'm going to let it go when it's out here where it landed. I'm going to click over. Okay, and now since it is a lure, I am going to try to bring it in. And as I do, I'm going to feel a little resistance. It might be grabbing something along the bottom. And I'm going to be reeling it in. Kind of simulating what a lure is doing. Is it simulating um, actually, I think I just had a little bite. And I didn't catch anything that time. <laughs> except a little bit of grass. And you'll get that quite a bit. So again, it's a little, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit higher, and then I'm going to click over, pinch it, and I'm going to get my next cast going. A little better, clicking it over, and then I'm going to be reeling it in, and you know, you can vary your speed a little bit, because you're trying to simulate what it would be to be a small little minnow. Last thing I will say about this, and then we'll end the video, is um, in New York State you should have a fishing license, and I believe it's over the age of 18, I believe, um, that you should be getting a fishing license, and you could do that through uh, Dick's, any sporting good outlets, um, and then that makes sure that you're safe and legal in terms of fishing, and also know that where you go, you know, when you fish places like the river is fair game, um, some places might be private property. Um, we're at the high school right now. This is, you know, a place that you can't just come and use unless somebody's with you. Um, there's a fence around the property, so you can't just come in here and, and fish without um, somebody supervising. So that's fishing a little bit with a spinner reel, and um, that's it.